well guys i get this question asked a lot on my social media account that's the instagram as well as facebook so make sure you follow me there if you haven't yet link is in the description section of this video so which camera should i buy that's easy to use like has all the manual controls to an interchangeable lens system which means like let's say if you are a beginner and starting photography it should be easy to use reading the menus and going through all the systems like uh, yeah, changing the dials and all that stuff it should be easy as well as like if you decide to go professional like if you decide to use the camera system for longer period of time and has uh, and like must have all the manual controls out there so that's the kind of uh, cameras that i have uh, put together in this video so in this video i've added five cameras and a few uh, honorable mentions or alternatives i can say that's easy to use and gives fantastic value for money remember all these cameras are interchangeable lens camera systems which are not only easy to use but also gives you pro functions and controls when needed so guys before we begin this video as always if you like these kind of videos let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and if you are new here don't forget to click on that subscribe button subscribe to be geek all right the first camera in the list is the canon m200 it's new it's super compact at a fantastic camera like they say canon delighting you always right so this is one of the cheapest mirrorless camera uh, that you can buy in the market and that too from Canon. Now the pros here are good image quality out of the box has nice and easy menu system and uh, it also has a menu guide to make you easy to click pictures records 4k 24 frames per second 1080p at 60 frames per second has a tilting LCD. You can also record videos and capture uh, selfies vertically which makes it super easy to upload on Instagram or any other social media accounts and it has a dual pixel out of focus at full HD eye detection autofocus as well. So what's not good about this camera is there is no viewfinder meaning you have to rely on screen has significant 4k crop it's like 3.2 times the focal length of the camera lens that you are using and the battery life isn't that great as well like they say it lasts for around 300 shots per charge so a spare battery is recommended. Then why this camera? If you are looking for a super light compact reliable mirrorless camera and easy to use at affordable price then look no further than the Canon M200. Okay guys next up in the list is the budget friendly good old yet new the Nikon D3500. It's a DSLR but it's very very easy to use camera self guided menus and modes will help you learn photography as well. Like it's very affordable, captures great quality pictures, both JPEG as well as RAW, has excellent dynamic range, has manual controls, superb battery backup. You heard that right. Remember Canon M200 could like last for 300 shots per charge and this one Nikon D3500 lasts for 1550 shots per charge. I mean that's incredible. It also records 1080p at up to 60 frames per second. All this for like 28,400 Indian rupees or rather 400 US dollars. Um, that's incredible value for money there. Like if you are a beginner wanting to buy a DSLR for great image quality and learn a few stuff about photography, then this should be your camera. Now the cons of this camera is the age old boring 11 point autofocus system. Very poor uh, video focus like video features are really really bad and it also has a fixed screen. Although the screen is good but it's fixed. Then who should buy this camera? Anyone looking to learn photography and clicks lots of pictures than videos and looking for an entry level camera then Nikon D3500 is a safe buy. Alright guys moving on the next best easy to use camera is the Canon EOS 200D Mark II the second version. It's a very nice camera that caters pretty much every user's need and is the Canon's lightest DSLR with articulating touch LCD screen. I have to say this guys the touch response and the user interface of the Canon camera is a delight and easy to use every single time I when I hold the Canon camera and try to touch the screen and use the interface it's super easy super fast and super convenient as well and great ergonomics to go with it. So that's the kind of thing that Canon offers you and it's always a safe buy when you're looking for any camera out there. So it features new digit 8 processor as well great picture quality out of the box eye detection autofocus 4k recording wi-fi nfc low energy bluetooth 2 this must be your pick if you are looking for an easy to use all round reliable dslr camera and it costs like around 45,000 indian rupees so if you have that budget thumbs up for this camera all right guys moving on next up in the list is from sony it's the old a5100 or alpha 5100 i know it's old and the even the image color science isn't that great especially the skin tones but it's now super affordable it's mirrorless has superb autofocus for both photo as well as video and costs like only 400 us dollars 
or say around 30,000 Indian rupees here with kit lens. So this camera also has a tilt screen, Wi-Fi NFC, 179 autofocus points is super compact, lightweight too. The image quality is also excellent. It shares the same sensor from the more expensive Alpha 6000 and shares the same autofocus capabilities. However, what's not good here is the battery life. Again, being mirrorless and compact takes a toll on battery no viewfinder as well so you are stuck with the screen complex menu system but despite all these flaws it still is a great camera if you put it in auto mode like it's like a pro point and shoot camera with all the controls still available if you need it slightly increase the budget and you may look at the new canon eos m6 mark ii superb image quality from its new 32 megapixel aps sensor 14 frames per second continuous shooting electronic viewfinder out of the box and offers full width 4k video recording Thumbs up for Canon for bringing all these features into such affordable system, right? So it's easy to use camera as well, great ergonomics and good battery backup as well. It costs around 800 US dollars or around 60,000 Indian rupees. So if you're looking for full frame alternative, easy to use camera, then the least expensive full frame camera, which also happens to be mirrorless with a good amount of controls too and great build quality. It's the Canon EOS RP. You may not have thought about that this camera would come up here, but hey, that's the uh, one you should be looking for if you're looking for an alternative full frame camera. Excellent image quality, Digic 8 processor, which is new. Pupil detection autofocus, forget I, it's pupil detection autofocus in continuous as well as servo mode. Records 4K with crop, slightly disappointing there, but still you have this camera if you need for great image quality. The problem is with the battery life again, being mirrorless rated at only 250 shots per charge that's terrible battery life out there but still if you are uh, uh, looking for a full frame uh, cheap affordable camera uh, which is built tough and uh, the quality image quality is also really great then uh, canon us rp comes in at around 1000 us dollars so it could be your best bet there and if you want to attach ef mount lenses then you will have to buy a separate adapter again slightly expensive out there but still it's a nice compact camera with many bells and whistles and easy to use as well. You can alternatively look at the Fujifilm's X-T30 guys but it's not a full frame and is APS-C and is also old but still a strong performer out there. If you're looking for a DSLR alternative that's easy to use and is reliable then you can probably look at the Canon 90D as well for both stills and video. Uh, like there are literally so many cameras out there these days but these were my pick for the best easy to use interchangeable lens camera. Depending on your budget, you can pick any of these and you'll be happy with its performance. So guys, what's your pick? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if this helped you, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I will see you all in another one. Till then, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.